Lewis and Clark has added functionality to our student information system that allows you, the student, to provide access to your academic records to any active faculty member or staff member at Lewis and Clark. You can provide the same access that your advisors have that they have the entire time you're with us at the college. This is a handy tool for occasions when you may seek a professional recommendation for a professional organization, employment, or other academic programs. It can also come in handy if you're working with an individual and you wish to seek academic advice from that person, but they're not currently your academic advisor. This student-granted access functionality is available to you on WebAdvisor. The Family Educational Right to Privacy Act protects your information, so it cannot be released without your written permission. This written permission, the form required, and providing online access are now available all online to you through WebAdvisor. Let's take a look. I'm going to log into WebAdvisor. And on the right hand side, I'm going to click on the long bar that says students. It brings up my student menu. On the student menu, under academic profile, you will find grant access to my academic records. I'm going to select that. Then it brings up the area in which you can assign that access to your records. As you're assigning access, this will provide information to the individual whom you grant the access to have access to your academic records, including your transcript, class schedule, program evaluation or degree audit, test scores that may be on our student information system, and any holds and authorizations you may have. This access is temporary. It lasts 30 days. After 30 days, the access expires for the individual and they will no longer be able to access your records unless you go back in and provide them access once again. On my particular access, you can see I've already given access to Dr. Vern Jones. Uh, I gave him that access on March 28th and it will end on February 27th. Once it ends, the expiration date will fill in. Now I'm going to also provide access to another faculty member who I'm going to ask to do a letter of recommendation for me. So I'm going to look up that faculty member, Dr. Danielle Torres, and you notice I'm using a partial name lookup, just entering in the part of her name. It's going to go out there and find any individuals that match that. It has found Dr. Torres. And I'm going to select it by clicking on the radio button in the left-hand column, hitting Submit, and now Dr. Torres has access to my academic records. Remember, your academic advisor has this access the entire time you're with us at Lewis and Clark. This is only necessary for individuals who you want to provide a temporary access that as part of their normal positions do not have access to your records. At the very top, you'll notice there is a release form for your educational records. So when asking for a letter of recommendation for a professional organization or another academic program or for employment purposes, it's a two-step process. First, you want to grant access to your academic records to the individual, and then you want to complete the release of educational recommendations form and submit an original copy of this form to the individual who you're asking to prepare a recommendation for you. This then gives them the ability to write a letter of recommendation and make sure that you have authorized that recommendation.